Hello and good afternoon. Today I'm going to talk you through mini lesson three, which is located at the bottom of our Canvas course. Before you do anything in Flipgrid, you'll watch this video, which will be, which is listed here, um, or will be listed here. And then once you've watched the video and I've explained this new tool, Flipgrid, you're going to click on this link, which will bring you to this page. You'll see what your directions are. Today our topic is Cuando estoy enfermo, when I am sick. So we're gonna be practicing with our Spanish vocabulary for body parts and for healthcare, um, as far as aches and pains are concerned. You'll have a little bit of a review of your time vocabulary because you are gonna to have to mention when your symptoms started. And um, you're going to be using the irregular verb estar in present tense for this. So to help you out in case you need some support, I've listed three Senor Jordan videos, one on a star, two on vocabulary for the body and for aches and pains, and then another external link here that has some help vocabulary in it as well. Um, you're going to pretend that you are an exchange student in a Spanish speaking country and you've taken ill at school. And so you're going to call your host dad, Senor Perez, but you don't get him. You're gonna leave him a voicemail. And in that, you will leave your name and a greeting, at least five symptoms you're experiencing and when they started, a question about what you should do, and then a farewell. You can leave that voicemail here by clicking this response or this button. It's going to ask you to log in. You can log in through your Microsoft account through Cabarrus County Schools, and then you'll click this button to start recording. If you're confused or if you forget what you're supposed to be doing, you can click on the book there and it will bring this up so that you can see what the topic was and what your questions were if you want to get rid of it you can also click off of that. If you have a question for me or something you're confused about and you want me to know, you could put a sticky note in here um, and that will stay up on your video as I watch it. When you're done, it'll prompt you to just hit pause here again. You have up to two and a half minutes to leave your voicemail and then it'll ask you to go next and you'll get to watch it and make sure you like it. Um, and then it'll also prompt you then after that for a next and then you'll upload it and I'll be able to see and watch this. You can also watch videos from your other classmates if you've been missing them and want to check in or see what their aches and pains are and what they do when they're sick. Another option for this would be um, on your video options. You could, if you don't want to record directly from Flipgrid, if you want to do a phone recording and then upload it to your computer and then upload from there to Flipgrid, you have that option. So if you wanted to record using a different platform than Flipgrid, although I think this is the easiest, you would click on add a video clip here and then just select that file. Um, if you have any questions, as always, I am here to help you. So just let me know what it is you need. And um, I look forward to watching your videos. Buena suerte. Adios.